Thank you. Yeah. Dylan's in for Al. You're talking about more rain and flooding for people in Houston. In Houston, they got another two to four inches of rain yesterday. Now it puts their total up nearly a foot of rain so far this June. That's one of the top 10 wettest Junes on record. The storms came in and lasted through the evening commute. Some cars were stranded. A lot of people using gas stations as a refuge just to get to some higher ground. So it was really a mess yesterday with these heavier downpours. You see a lot of cars trying to drive through it. That's what you don't want to do because that's how you get stuck in the flooded waters. And unfortunately, that area is still under the gun for some scattered showers and storms. This morning, though, most of the heavy rain has moved up into Massachusetts, eastern Connecticut, through Rhode Island. These were those strong storms that moved through New York City overnight. Lots of lightning, torrential downpours could lead to some brief urban flooding. We also have a lot of rain moving through parts of uh, Missouri right now, and they will see another round of storms later on this afternoon. That's where our slight risk area is for Missouri, right down into northwestern Georgia. We could see very large hail, damaging wind gusts, and also those torrential downpours. Thanks.